Hello and welcome to the world of Craig and welcome to part five of hair colour theory. Now this episode contains a huge share on the difference between cool and warm hair colour formulas. Let's get straight into it with our first two swatches because these visuals are strong. On the left, I have 10N and on the right, I have 10VV. They're both a level 10. The 10N has a soft blue violet tone to it and the 10VV has double the violet, making it cooler. I want you to look closely at how much deeper the 10VV looks. That's because this is absorbing the light as opposed to reflecting it. The cooler the tone, the more light it absorbs, the darker it looks. Next up, let's have a look at some level 7 formulas. On the left, I have 7C with some yellow kicker, which is gold. And on the right, I have 7VB. Now, these were applied again to white swatches, but look at how much deeper the 7 violet blue looks in relation to the 7C and the yellow kicker. It really does show how the eye sees cool versus warm. Lastly, let's have a look at some level nine swatches. Here on the left, I have 9NB, which is a level nine with some natural and some beige. And on the right, I have 9B, which is blue. And there's also a little bit of yellow kicker in there. I want you to look at how much deeper and darker that 9B swatch looks in comparison to the 9NB. It's so visible here and it really does show you how much more light that's absorbing rather than reflecting. So now we know that a cooler formula will appear deeper or darker to the human eye. But why is this important to us when we're formulating hair colour for clients or for ourselves at home? Well, sometimes you don't need to use such a cool tone to get the result that you're after. And any coolness that's left over will read as deepness or being darker, or it could make your final result muddy. It's always best to use something that's not quite as cool. You can always go in a second time and cool things down more. That's it for this episode of Hair Colour Theory. If you've enjoyed it and found it helpful, please give it a like. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell to turn on your notifications. I have a whole playlist of hair colour theories and I will link it in one of the boxes at the end of this video. If you'd like to see my hair day today, you can do that on Instagram, which is on screen now, or find that in my shorts on here. Yes, shorts. That's it for this time round. You all take lots of care and I'll see you in the next one.